What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, Katie of the House. I'm Katie and today I want to take you through our net worth as of the end of June 2022. So the last time I did a net worth update was at the end of April of 2022. Um, I posted that video in May, but it went to the end of April. So I did not do an update for May of 2022. I typically just track my net worth every three months or so, but I may start doing it once a month just to show on my channel like how much things can change in such a short amount of time. So we'll see how the rest of the year goes, but I would like to start doing these more often. So if you enjoy those, hit the red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of them. So let's get into the net worth tracker that I am using. So I got this tracker as a free download from Lauren Miller. She is another YouTuber. She has no idea who I am, but she offers this download for free on her YouTube channel. So all you have to do is go to one of her net worth videos and click in the description box. And um, she offers the tracker down below. Um, if you don't want the net worth tracker, I still recommend checking out her channel because she is on a journey to pay off um, six figures of debt too. They've already paid off over $100,000 of debt, um, her and her husband. And she is really one of the reasons that I started my YouTube channel because she just really inspired me to keep going even though we had so much debt. So anyway, check her out. Um, she's awesome. I'll put her YouTube channel in the description box down below. Um, and you can also get this net worth tracker from her if you are interested in that. So if you're not familiar with net worth tracking, net worth is just how much money you have in assets minus your liabilities. So obviously your net worth is just a number. It has nothing to do with your personal worth as a human being. But it's fun to track, especially when you are on a journey to either pay off debt or grow your assets. So paying off debt increases your net worth and things like investing and savings will also increase your net worth. So it's fun to track those two things and watch your net worth grow. So we're going to start here with our asset column. So assets are everything that you own. So everything that you own that has value, I should say. So our first one that we're going to go over here is our retirement accounts. So me and my husband both do have retirement accounts, but I just group them together here instead of separating them out. So I just added up how much they're all worth and then put the value here. So as of the end of April, those accounts were worth $212,080. So the stock market has had a couple of bad months. So in June, those accounts were worth $195,561. So that is a decrease of $16,519. So that is a huge decrease overall. So this is not something that really concerns me because those retirement accounts are index funds, which means they are invested in the entire stock market, not just single stocks. And the stock market always goes up over time. Yes, it has some dips where it will go down, but it always recovers. So I'm not really worried about this right now because we are very far from retirement age. So we have plenty of time for this to keep growing. So if we were taking this out tomorrow, yes, that would be concerning that it lost $16,000 in worth. But since we are planning to be investing in these for another 30 years, um, it's really not concerning right now. So next is our house value. So the housing market has been booming lately and it's not stopping. I thought it would go down a little bit with the um, increase in the Fed interest rates, but it's still booming. <laughs> so at the end of April, according to Zillow, our house was worth $514,500. And at the end of June, our house was worth $542,600. So that is an, an increase of $28,100. So I do use Zillow because when we sold our previous house, Zillow's estimate was very, very close to what it was appraised for. So I feel like Zillow is a pretty good basis to use for your house value. No, it may not be exact, but I think you can get pretty close. Next is our savings slash cash on hand. 
So in April, we had a total of $8,065 in savings. And in June, we had 6,568. So that was a decrease of $1,497. And most of this was due to paying um, for some things for my kid's school. Next is our E-Trade account. So at the end of April, um, this account was worth $1,371. And at the end of June, it was worth $1,336, which is again, a decrease of $35. So we actually did put money into this in May and in June, but it still lost value because again, it's stocks. So they've been going down lately. But again, this is okay. This is something that I plan to really ramp up investing in once our debt is paid off. Um, and hopefully it could be used for early retirement. So it's again, something that we're not going to use for a very long time, but it is a decrease right now in value. So next is our car values. I actually just left these the same. I didn't go back on Kelly Blue Book to see if they changed at all. Um, I know cars are worth a lot right now. Used cars in particular are worth more than usual. So I just left it the same. And this is something I might um, recheck at the beginning of next year because I'm sure it will change by then. So I just kept this as $25,000 for our first car and $10,000 for our second car. So as of April 2022, our net worth was, or our total assets, not our net worth. This is not our net worth, I wish. <laughs> but our total assets um, at the end of April was $771,016. At the end of June, it was $781,065. So you can see here that we have a $10,049 change. So that is great, especially considering the loss in our retirement accounts. So we did lose over $16,000 in those retirement accounts. However, we gained more than that back with our house value. Okay, so next we're going to go into our liabilities column. So liabilities are basically debts that you have. So we're going to start here with our student loans. So we had $125,200 that we owed in student loans at the end of April. Um, by the end of June, we'd only paid off $200. So we went down to $125,000. So that is a decrease of $200. So over here, it's actually good to see decreases in your liabilities. For our Chrysler, that's our family car, we owed $14,216 at the end of April. At the end of June, we owed $13,153, which is a decrease of $1,063. So again, that's good that we saw a decrease there. Next is our Capital One credit card. So this is a zero interest credit card that we are focusing on right now. And we are trying to pay off. So at the end of April, we owed $8,400 on this card. And at the end of June, we owed $6,750, which is a decrease of $1,650. So for mortgage, I don't normally count this as a debt when I'm talking about how much debt we have to pay off, but it is actually a liability. So when you're calculating net worth, you do have to consider your mortgage and how much you actually owe, especially because you're counting your house as an asset, the value of your house. So you do have to count your mortgage as a liability. So we owed $353,140 at the end of April on our mortgage. And at the end of June, we owed $351,357, which is a decrease of $1,783. So at the end of April, our total liabilities were $500,956. So that's over half a million dollars. That's crazy. Um, and then in June, we actually got under the five, the half a million. So that's amazing. So now at the end of June, we owe $4,996,260 in liabilities, which is a decrease of $4,696. So that's great. So we paid off $4,696 of debt basically in two months. So now we can calculate our total net worth now that we know how many, how much we have in assets and how much we have in liabilities. So our total net worth for April 2022 was $270,060. So remember, you're taking this number here and then subtracting this number from this number. So that's how we get the $270,060. So that was April's net worth. 
at the end of June, we were at $284,805. So that's subtracting this number here from this number here. So our net worth increased $14,745 in those two months, which was a 5.45% increase overall. So now we're going to go down to this section um, of the graph and show you um, how our net worth has changed over a longer period of time. So I put in a few numbers that I had. Um, if you check out my last net worth video, I'll link it above. I have even more net worth numbers in that video. But here I just took a, a number or two from each year to show you how it's grown over time. So we did start calculating our net worth in June of 2016, and it was negative $126,045 at that time. So we had a huge negative net worth. So we have increased it over time. So you can see I just took one value um, from each year until we get to 2021, and then I did a couple of values. Um, so our net worth has slowly increased over time. And once we got positive, actually the change in our net worth increased more rapidly. So that was very exciting to watch. So if you do have a negative net worth, don't be discouraged you can turn it around. It will take some time and a lot of patience, hard work, but you can do it. Um, so our current net worth is $284,805. So this just chart just shows these numbers in a bar graph form. So you can see here we were negative and then we have slowly increased to a positive net worth. So I'm not sure how much growth we can expect over the next couple of years. The one thing about net worth is that, you know, a portion of it is under your control, but then some of it isn't under your control. For example, I can control how much debt I've paid off, but I can't control how the stock market is doing. So while net worth is very fun to calculate, don't let it stress you out because there is a lot of it that is out of your control. So if you do want this spreadsheet, again, you can go into Lauren's YouTube and she will give you a free download on her net worth update videos. But if you would just like a simple way to calculate your net worth, just go into Google and type in net worth calculator. And I think bank rate is one of the first one that pops up. And you could use that to calculate your net worth really quickly. All you have to do is put in your number. So you do need to know, you know, how much you owe in debt, and how much your house is worth and how much your retirement accounts are worth and etc. So um, if you haven't calculated your net worth before, I recommend that you do so. Just don't let it stress you out too much if it isn't a number that you want it to be yet. You can definitely work on it over time by increasing your assets and decreasing your liabilities. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. That's all I have for you right now. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I really nerd out over this kind of stuff. This is really fun for me. So let me know if you need help. I really would not mind helping you. So if you enjoy the video, please give it a like. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.